Ladies and gentlemen, in less than 12 hours, we will be going to the polls. This is an election like no other. The largest pool of candidates to choose from, the most number of seats being polled, and of course, an expert panel to offer valuable thoughts on what this means for Kenya. I'm joined by political analysts, Mtahi Ngumi. Well, thanks for having me, Kev. I appreciate it. <laughs> and Mr. Adam Zolo, Chairperson, uh, <laughs> Department of Political yeah, Science, University of Nairobi. Yeah, Hello. yeah. Uh, thank you. Ke thank you, Kev. Good evening. I'm glad to be here. And of course, the Executive Director yeah. of the Kenya Human Rights Commission yeah. at Sango thank you. Chisoni. Thank you, Kev. Hello, viewers. Mutahi and Olo, have you changed <laughs> yeah. your positions on who will win the election? I mean, the polls yeah. indicate that it will be uh, a tight one. Uh, it is a, you know, you know uh, Kev, uh, uh, I think we all know that wisdom does not change its mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if you're wise enough, uh, yes. you will notice that Kenyans really want to vote on issues. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the problem is that once you replace issues with numbers, yes. uh, this glamorous discourse on what the candidates are going to do for this country becomes null and void. Oh my. Uh, Just only. Uh, no, we need to start realizing that the right of the ordinary Kenyan yeah. to be governed by a deserving leadership is as equally important as the other no, but, fundamentals but, but, of a democratic but, but, but vote. But that is exactly what I've been saying. What have you been saying, Mr. Ngumi? What, what have what, you been what saying? What you guys are saying oh. is that the king is naked in his palace. I like that. Uh, but I insist that, yes, the king is naked. <coughs> uh -huh. But he's not in his palace. Oh, my. Uh, he's walking down the street. Nah. And he will shame us all. <laughs> uh, <in laughs> so let me ask run. you. I, I don't agree. Uh, so mm. is tribalism here and it's going to embarrass us? Huh? Exactly, is that what you say? Exactly. Exactly. Oh. But, 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 but you see, Ken. Yes or no? Let, let us not be too quick well, to conclude that any or both of these I two horses so. are riding on the hooves of tribalism. So. <laughs> because, <laughs> yes. uh, because let us give these two horses the time they require, and then we can judge oh, oh, them. Oh, of uh, course, I would love to agree yeah. with you on that issue. Yeah. But yeah. the yeah. issue at hand is that these horses bolted a long time ago, and we still don't know what this race is for. I mean, come on, what do you think Kenyans want in the new president? Yeah. Yes, I, at I would, Sango. Okay. Kenyans would want a president who respects and obeys the law, is an individual who best represents and articulates the rights of the people, uh -huh. ensures good governance, yes. transparency, uh -huh. accountability. That would be my ideal candidate. And who would that candidate be? At Sango, the tell jury me. will decide uh, tomorrow. But, 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 oh you, see, yes, but, but you see, Kev, yes. although, uh, although you give me the opportunity okay. to respond to this. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, let's not kid ourselves about what different groups of Kenyans are looking for as they approach the ballot. Okay. Uh, in my own assessment, yes. yeah. I foresee the visitation of the Greek titan Uranus. Uh, who is seeking retribution against Cronus for his painful loss of man? You see what you are doing, Motai. Yes. You're, you're just scaring me for no good no, reason. No, absolutely not, Olo. Absolutely <laughs> not. And that reminds me of the concern that we could see a repeat of the 2007 post-election uh, skirmishes. No. Do you think we have learned from their mistakes? No, I, I, I think given the right uh, conditions, they, they can be able to learn a thing or two. But I don't think... Yeah, yeah, yeah he agrees, oh, he agrees yes. with me. But now, Motai. there is a looming possibility of a runoff. Yeah. How do you see the alliances and power shifts playing out if you don't have any of the candidates achieving uh, yeah, the yeah, threshold. Yeah, yeah, yes. If I were Uhuru or Raila, yes. I right now would be gladly planning to have Mdava to get a nice massage uh -huh. and uh -huh. thereafter drop an uh -huh. ambrosius meal at his table uh, no, why, uh, uh, just to get his support. Okay. I think Mdava's vote will uh, go no, either no. way. Yes or no? I, I tend to disagree. Uh -huh. For me, the lawyer block has no issue with the Raila presidency. Yeah, okay. So just because their flag bearer may back Uhuru does not mean that the voters will follow suit. I like that. I mean, actually, they may pull a surprise and get caught there. Oh, good. That is rather a, a, yes, a tyranny of, of When mine. we were drafting this constitution, uh -huh. the committee of experts, we made sure that whoever gets elected president garners the support of all Kenyans, not Luyas, uh -huh. Luos, Kikoyus, Kambas, or such like. Okay. Uh, no, I meant the Luya Nesho. Oh, that is what I meant. Thing. No, it's yeah. a Luya Nesho. Kenya has grown uh, and matured a as a, a democracy. Uh -huh. And we in the civil society believe that Kenya will make the right choice. Wow. Wow. Remember to subscribe to XYZ's new YouTube channel uh www.youtube.com forward slash the XYZ show official.